Hi, it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an AliExpress haul. Recently I got really into journaling again because it is 2020 and everything's crazy so I felt like I needed to document everything. So the usual format of these videos is silence with um, some aesthetic music and some um, subtitles but that's not really my style. I like to talk. I'm a talker so that's what we're gonna do. So if you want to put me on mute go ahead. So I'm wearing a brace and this is gonna be a little bit hard to open all of these packages but I'll try my best and speed through all of that so you're not left waiting. So the first item we have is this cute little notepad with like a little speech bubble thought bubble I thought it'd be good to like uh, include some inner thoughts in my journaling. My journaling is very like stream of conscious personal thoughts kind of, but then like I always like putting stuff in parentheses so I thought this would be a great thing to put my parentheses on and just add a little bit more texture to my journaling. And I'll link all the stores I got these from down below. They're all from different stores, each of these little packages. So that's kind of make it that kind of makes it easier that they're all kind of sorted that way. So next we have some sticker flakes. I didn't actually know what sticker flakes were before this. So I watched a whole bunch of like AliExpress hauls and I learned what they were. And they're so cute. So instead of on sticker sheets, they're just like a whole bunch of individual stickers. So the first one I got are these uh, raccoons. And I love raccoons. I think these are actually specifically red pandas. I kind of think red pandas are in the family of raccoons. So if you are very passionate about that, feel free to comment on it down below. But yeah, these are so, so adorable. They all have like different designs. and They come in multiple of the same design. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you all of them because there's so many and there's still some in the box that I accidentally left in there. But I don't know. I just, I love stickers and I would just love to decorate the sides of my journaling. Next from the same seller I have these little puppy sticker flakes. The lighting is that great so you can't see what's on the back but I'll show you um, what's all in it. I won't be showing you all the individual stickers because I think they came in like a pack of 50. But um, yeah, this is all of those puppy sticker flakes. And for my location in Hawaii for delivery time from AliExpress, which was all, I think all the stores were in China, it was about two weeks to get here. Since they all sent um, the all the different stores at the same time, I had to wait for all of the stores to like finish packaging everything before I got it. So that may have delayed the time a little bit more. But you know, that's kind of like the average shipping time I'm used to, so I wasn't that, like, surprised that it came late or anything. Honestly, I probably wasn't even late at all. That's just, like, how it is if you're getting something to Hawaii. Next is this white gel pen. It's a, a Sakura jelly roll, I think it is. It's just a white pen. I've seen a lot of people use it to, like, make some details on their lettering and I thought it was a really interesting idea. I've never known what white gel pens were used for before and I had a whole bunch of them when I was younger and I never thought they were useful for anything but now I'm here I am ordering another one so I am so excited to use it and the reason why I have so many stuff have so many stuff so many things in this haul is because everything was so fairly priced like it was a dollar each for everything I did have to pay like an additional dollar in shipping but two dollars for all of this when I went to Don Quixote to get a package it will I mean not a package a uh, stationery it was like eight dollars so this was a deal uh, these are some high stickers I got just a pack of 30. They came in a pack of 10, 30, or 50. I chose the 30 ones because I like Haikyuu. But I actually got um, a whole bunch of other anime stickers, but they didn't all come in the mail yet. So I'll show you some of them, but the ones I'm still waiting for are My Hero Academia, um, Demon Slayer, and Hunter x Hunter. So you won't be seeing those in this video, but I did get a whole bunch of anime stickers for the My Hero Academia ones. I actually got a 50 of those because that's like my favorite anime right now. <laughs> but I love all these stickers of the Haikyuu. They have some meme ones, some actual screen caps from the show, some manga panels, and then like some fan art. 
not all of it is like official licensed art because it's from AliExpress, but I enjoy all of it and it's very reasonable compared to like Redbubble or actually from an anime store. Next we have this cute little notepad. It has foxes and sakura blossoms and some lines just for like some guides, but it's so adorable. I, I love all the marketing uh, Japan does for like, the sakura blossoms. So, so I just, I love it. I really want to go to Japan one day where the sakura blossoms are in bloom. So this is like my little motivation for that. <laughs> Next we have some Avatar The Last Airbender stickers. I think I just got 10 of these. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender was literally my childhood show. This, uh, I love it so, so much. I think I've seen Avatar The Last Airbender like three or four times. So ask me anything about it, I'll tell you. <laughs> these stickers are so fun. They m are mostly uh, artist renditions of the show. They're not really any of the actual screen caps from it or anything like that, but I still enjoy them equally. You know, it's kind of a shuffle on what you're going to get in these uh, sticker packs, so it's kind of exciting. It's like a mystery box. Here we have some colorful sticker dots. I saw a lot of people in their journal spreads use this to like hold down photos or just decorate their pages some more, so I got two colors. One was a, like a rainbow pastel and then the other is like a blue to red gradient. These are like some of my favorite colors. I mean, it's like all the colors. I love all the colors. But yeah, I just thought this was a really interesting uh, idea for journaling. I never would have thought of it on my own. So it has uh, small stickers, medium stickers, and then large stickers. And they're kind of like transparent. So if you put them over your uh, photos that, or anything in your journal, you'll kind of see under them. But I think that's like a nice quality of it. It's like you can see all the layers in your journaling process. And let me just show you the um, pastel rainbow. See, aren't those nice pastel colors? I love pastels. I wish I had more pastel things. I didn't get into pastels until like really recently, so I have like no pastels. But yeah. <laughs> so I love plants. I wish I had a green thumb. I'm not very good at taking care of plants, but I just love drawing plants to like decorate stuff. And I thought it would just be so much easier if I got stickers of plants to decorate that. <laughs> so I got some uh, plant sticker flakes. They are a variety of like different ferns, leaves, and just like, I don't know, weeds. <laughs> but they're great to like decorate the sides, the tops, any pictures you have, just like, something everyone should have. It's just an easy, easy way to do decoration and like create spreads. What? I don't know journal terminology. I'm, I'm just gonna make up my own terminology, okay? It is what it is. This is what the new terminology is. Welcome. Welcome to new journal terminology. Here we have some uh, Pantone color stickers. They, you know, like, they have the color, and then they say, like, the name of the color underneath it. I honestly thought these were gonna be bigger, but they are minuscule. They're tiny. <laughs> you can see the hesitance in my hands. Like, what did I buy? I mean, they have so many colors, a great color scheme, great... It's a wide variety, but they're just so small, it's going to be kind of hard for me to <laughs> decorate with them. I was like planning to use these as background and then layer stuff on top of them, but like, this on its own is going to be like tiny. <laughs> I mentioned that in my review on the website and I kind of felt bad because I'm sure they had uh, dimensions on the website, but I just, I guess I missed it. And some of the stickers came a little bent, so that was kind of disappointing, but it happens. So I probably won't order those Pantone again. So it looks like all the other Pantone kind of stickers they have on AliExpress are basically the same thing. So <laughs> guess this is what it is. Here we have some grid washi tape. I, um, I don't know. I was kind of iffy about these. I'd seen that everyone had used them. So I figured, oh, they're only a dollar. I can figure out a way to use them. I like the way that everyone else was using them. So 
uh, I'll come up with something. But, you know, it, it gives like a really nice academic look to anything you're doing. I just, I associate grid with math, so maybe that's why I don't like it. But I really like the black grid. That looks like dark academia, and the, that's like an aesthetic I really enjoy right now. So I'm excited to use it to figure out a way to use it to broaden my horizons. That's what journaling is about. You, like, you learn more about yourself. You learn more about what's going on around you and just try new things. Maybe I'm reading too deep into journaling, but like that's how I feel when I journal. I feel like I'm releasing everything into the world and becoming who I really am. Is that too deep? Because <laughs> that's what I feel. So I'm really excited about these, if you can tell. Um, <laughs> they are some washi tape packs. I got the blue and the green. The blue is kind of like some watery uh, styles. They have like these really teeny tiny ones. Then they have the medium sizes and the big sizes. They all have different designs on them. And I just think this would be so great for like creating layering and texture. I love the way it like simulates water movement. Um, not this one. This one has little swimming people on. I think that's kind of cool. But like, it's not really my aesthetic, but I'll figure out a way to use it because we don't waste. But wow, these are all just spectacular. I loved everything in this pack. They have this on Amazon too, but on Amazon it's like $8. And this was uh, uh, reasonable, very reasonable if you get my drift. But yeah, great designs. Cool, cool, cool. This one kind of has like a little plant, a bluish plant, so that'd be cool to pair up with the green to, for some little like, not contrast, but like some, you know color theory, help me with the word, I don't remember what it is. They're like similar colors, but not quite. It's going to drive me crazy. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. And there's the whale. Wasn't well, that a pretty whale with some little fishies? A whole bunch of whales with some fishies. And I just like the that comes in a box, like a matching box. Isn't that great? Here are the green ones. These are mostly like leaves or like washes of green. You know what? It's like kind of like watercolor. I love watercolor. So this like gives you watercolor in your journal without like getting all your pages wet. And you know how I said I like decorating with leaves and stuff so this will just give me some more added convenience. We got some leaves and some leaves. <laughs> just a whole bunch of leaves. I like the leaves. I like the plants. And this one's a forest. Hey. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's like a layered smoky forest. Not smoky, foggy. Foggy. Foggy's the word. There's just the wash of green. See, it's like watercolor. I can't see that because of the glare, but it's, yeah, try and fix it, but you won't. <laughs> and it's just like some little tiny leaves. And then some cacti, because that's the plural of cactus. It's cool, huh? It's a great find. Okay, this was kind of an insane buy for me because this is 100 Studio Ghibli stickers. 100, you heard me right, one, zero, zero. I don't know what I'm gonna do with 100 Studio Ghibli stickers. Is it Ghibli or Ghibli? I never know. I. I I can't even say the name right, and I ordered 100 of their stickers. 100! Look, I can't even sort through them all. There's so many. Like, it has uh, Princess Mononoke, My Neighborhood Totoro, Spirited Away, Kiki's Delivery Service. What is that one? Oh, that's the pig one, yeah? I forget what that one's always called. I, I, there's just so many stickers. So many stickers. I... <laughs> Someone needs to stop me sometimes, but nobody, <laughs> princess, nobody does, and nobody can, nobody can stop me. Look at 
Spirited Away is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. I mean, that's the one I like grew up with. That was like the first one I was introduced to, so it's always going to be close to my heart. What's your favorite Studio Ghibli movie? And tell me how to say Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli? I think Americans say it differently than everyone else. I don't, I don't know why. We just say everything differently. Next, we have some Sakura washi tape. I mentioned I really like Sakura Blossoms and like all the marketing of Sakura Blossoms. I've never seen them in real life and I just, I really want to, okay? And this is just like my way of seeing it in real life. Um, <laughs> this was so hard to get out of its box. Like, I, I <laughs> just, just, just watch. I can't, I can't get it out. <laughs> that was me debating if I should break the box, because it's a nice box, but I literally can't get the product out. I don't know if it's because of my brace, or just because it's so snug in there, but it just, there we go, there it is. And now I have to get rid of the box. But look at how nice those blossoms are. It has like a nice pastel blue background with the cherry blossoms just popping on. I love it. If only the box wasn't so hard to open. These are some lovely husky stickers. They show a wide variety of the very many moods that huskies go into. This is all from the same store, by the way. Um, these three that I just laid out. The huskies, the um, Van Gogh, I think it is. Oh, Washington. I'll talk about that in just a second. But these are the huskies. They have so many of them. They're kind of like the transparent sticker flakes. They're not a sticker sheet, although it comes in like big packaging for it. But they have a whole bunch. So many. So many huskies. This is the Van Gogh washi tape I touched on a little bit. They, there are three of them. If I can get it out. <laughs> Always stuck. Oh, uh, this one was stuck because it was taped to the box. The tape was stuck onto the box. Look at I had to undo the tape. I, I, I would have spent forever on that. But these are three of different Van Gogh paintings. We got Starry Night. Uh, that one's not Starry Night. I don't know what that one's called. But it's like a nice little town waterscape. Similar to Starry Night, but not Starry Night. This one is Starry Night. You know, Starry Night. I think we all know Starry Night. How many times am I going to say Starry Night? And then the last one is like the little water painting with the flowers. I heard, I know exactly what it looks like. I just, I don't remember what it's called. But, you know, he's iconic. And then these are some, um, like little picture cards, little picture stickers. They have a whole bunch of like little moods on them. Or like little just uh, designs to spruce up your page. Why are these all so tiny? But again, I thought these were gonna be bigger, but they are the sticker flake size, so they're all very very tiny. Um, I'll probably have to like layer multiple of these up to get like a full spread. There, there are awesome illustrations and everything. It's just this isn't the size I was expecting, so that kind of like ruined the ideas I had in my head. Also, just to uh, touch on this store, I had another product in this order that never came. And when I tried to dispute it, it didn't have an option to say, oh, I never got the product. So I like chose to say it got caught in customs but obviously it didn't get caught in customs so they said oh it's not caught in customs so we're not going to refund you and but I literally said in the comment I never got the product and there isn't an option to say I never got the product and then AliExpress stepped in and said yeah we're not going to refund you so I'm just like okay it's like a dollar two dollars whatever but I never got my Captain America puppy stickers it was like a little pack of puppies with Captain America shields it would have been so cute, but I will never ever get them. Ever. So that's just money floating off into the void somewhere. And I'm a little bit upset about it, even though I let it go. Because I'm non-confrontational sometimes, but obviously I'm talking about it on my YouTube channel, so they're gonna hear about it. 
but yeah, just be aware with that company. <laughs> Next are some uh, little uh, review stuff. So one is, uh, let's see which one I actually pick up first. So these are some memo pads with review uh, kind of templates. I watch so many TV shows, animes, K-dramas. I like to record the ones I really like. And I just thought this was a great way I can like rate them and say who all the actors and actresses are. This is some uh, washi tape with little bears on them, but like they're honey bears. It's so cute. They're like bears eating some pancakes and pouring honey on it and on each other. It, it, it's, it's adorable. It's so adorable. See, look at the pancake with the honey. And then just the bears falling in love. It, it's great. And then this next thing I didn't even know I got, I actually didn't get, I checked the order. It's just like a little paper clip, which will be great for marking where I am in my journal, even though my journal has like a little um, ribbon in it. But I, I appreciate them including this in my order. I hope that didn't replace my Puppy American ones, even though, Captain America ones, even though it's not part of the same store. I, I'm bitter about my Puppy Captain America stickers. Lastly, we have a big set of washi tape. Uh, I'll show you all the colors in just a moment. But here is an important lesson about AliExpress. Read the product description. Because once again, I thought these were going to be bigger. You know, like not quantity bigger, but like I thought the width of the tape was going to be bigger. So these are like really thin washi tapes. And the um, quality of the tape isn't that great, actually. So I don't know, I'd probably just skip on these if you're looking to buy anything from this haul. I mean, it has great color selection, so if you're not that picky, go ahead and try it. But I think there are better options out there. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Check out everything down below, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.